takes me with it. All right. Hello, and welcome to the Common Sense Show. Today's theme we're going to be focusing on is loneliness. Yes. Hello. Welcome to the Common Sense Show. If you're just joining us, we're going to be focusing on loneliness. It, it seems like it's a growing problem in today's world. Because, as you know, everybody just sits in front of a computer all day. A lot of people's jobs is just that. And then they just go home, and then they sit in front of another box all day. The TV, maybe watch that. Netflix. You know, you don't have to wait for episodes anymore. Seasons. They're all there. You can watch as many episodes as you want in one night. Then you go to another show, and then you just you just waste so much time these days without realizing it, because it's so easy. And it's like, oh, I don't got any friends, or I don't know anybody, or oh, it's hard to meet people. Well, technology is making it difficult sometimes to have quality friendships. I'm sure it might seem like you have more friends. Sometimes it's difficult to have qual those quality friendships. And this is something that should be common sense, but for young people today, growing up, maybe it's not common sense. Because the world's so different. But at some point in time, this used to be common sense. So if you want to have more friends, go and meet people, well, you got to go say hi to people in real life. you got to go meet them face-to-face. Face-to-face, phone call, text, email. Like, that should be your hierarchy of command for most important communication. Best way to leave an impression. Face-to-face, -face, phone call, texting, email. You know, texting and email. There's just no personal touch anymore, no personality. Anybody can read what you wrote and interpret it in a multitude of ways. I'm sure it was the same for letters. But everybody can send that same 12 point times new Roman font, so it doesn't have any personality. So face to face is the most important form of communication, it should be, especially for meeting people. So you have this loneliness problem. How do you solve it? You sit at home all day. You sit at work all day in front of a computer. You sit at home all day in front of the TV. Well, obviously, we as humans are social creatures, and you have to have a social life. And a social life doesn't have to take that much work, but it does take work. So to start off, if you're one of those people who are sitting on their phone all day, staring at their smartphone, who walk around with headphones in, if you're trying to meet new people, those are deterrents for starting a conversation. So, stow away that phone, put away the headphones. You have to make yourself open to communication first if you want to meet new people. And of course, once you get in the habit of doing that, the next phase of the plan is to start making eye contact with people. Yes, I know it's scary. Start making eye contact with people. And if they make eye contact with you back, say hi or good morning or compliment them. It's not an easy thing to do, especially when everybody else is still going to be wearing their headphones, using their smartphone. But we're trying to solve loneliness here and meet new people and create new friendships. And you can't expect anyone else to ever do the work. It takes some effort on your part. And of course, to make the process easy, easier for you, you should find a club, a community, a gym, a bar, really any place that you can go and that you can keep going back to. Like, it's hard to go to a place for the first time and expect to meet a whole bunch of people. Like sometimes it takes time for people to get used to you or get to know you or get to see you as a regular. 
But if you start going to the same place all the time, then people will recognize you. You'll be the local celebrity in that little community, and then it could be easier to start conversations with people. Oh, hey, I've seen you around here before. Hi, I'm... And then you do an introduction. You introduce yourself, you say your name, and then you ask about the other person. And if they want to talk, they'll keep talking. If they don't, just go on your way right away. This is stuff that should be common sense, but for some people, it's not always. For some people, this is, you know, a big deal. It's, it's kind of scary to go and talk to people out there. There's a point. Out there in the real world. It can be quite scary. How do you get over that fear? How do you get better at doing it? Well, you just have to take one th things one step at a time. So let's let's try to break it down again. If you're trying to meet new people, you have to make yourself open to communication. You got to have open body language. Don't cross your arms. Don't have a scowl on your face. This all takes conscious effort by you. Have, smile. Be approachable. Be friendly. Don't have headphones in because that's just a sign, another sign for saying, hey, I don't want to be bothered. Don't stare at your smartphone all day. That's just saying, hey, other things are more important than what's going on right now. Step one to review again. Make yourself open to communication, open to meeting new people. That's step one. Step two, the small step, we're breaking it down even simpler. At least try to make eye contact with people. Most people avoid it, but if you're too scared about starting a conversation with a stranger, well then you gotta start with this small step. Make yourself open to communication. Step two, Start making eye contact with people. Step three, smile. Step four, say hi, good morning. Maybe they're walking by, maybe they're not. But I will start a conversation. Compliment them on their outfit. Compliment them on anything, really. Maybe it will start a conversation. It's good stuff to know. Let's go, let's go down our list to make sure. What are we on? Right. So it can be hard to meet people when they're commuting or walking to somewhere. That's why you need to go to some place where people meet all the time. There's churches. Maybe you're not very religious, but guess what? People meet there every Sunday. If you have trouble talking to people or find people to meet or finding a place where everybody can this is there week after week, you can start with the church. If you're not very religious, oh well, it's a good practice. You can go there every Sunday at the same time every Sunday and you'll see a bunch of people there and you can just start conversations. Or go to a gym. Sign up for a gym. People go there all the time all the time. And if you start going at the same time, you'll see a bunch of the same people and you can start talking to them. Or join a club, a theater, learn learn something new. What are you interested in? Learning a musical instrument? Reading? Yeah, I'm sure there's clubs at the library that you can join. You have to be able to go somewhere and keep going to that place over and over again to meet more people. A social life doesn't have to take that much work. It can be hard to want to text and call people all the time without bothering them. But if you go to a place where people go all the time, you're there. People are more likely to talk to you because they're also there. It's a real simple cure for loneliness. Meeting new people, having networks and communities, communities established, 
And this is, this is all the basic steps to get going. Now, if you really want to expand this more, always try to be helpful, you know, at, at first. If somebody needs your help with something, help them out. If they have a project that they want to do, you know, go and work with them on it. At least up front. Do you want to build the good relationships? Invest some time. You know, sometimes it takes more than just send somebody a quick text message. You want to be better than that if you want to have a quality relationship. Provide some value and maybe, just maybe, they'll provide some value back to you. Or, I guess you could just sit at home all day and hope things change. But I don't recommend that. It's doesn't seem like a very good game plan. We, al we always have problems in our life. And if we don't take any action, then the problems stay there. And then we get depressed because the problems are still there. You can read and study all you want on these problems, but that still is not the same thing as taking action. You know, I bet you thought the simple cure to loneliness would be finding a partner. Whether you're a guy looking for a girl, a girl looking for a guy, girl looking for a girl, a guy looking for another guy, whatever. You're looking for a partner. You thought that might be a simple cure. But believe me, you can't invest all of your time and expect expectations into one relationship because it will ruin that one relationship. In America, other countries, people have all sorts of stresses and problems to deal with. And people just want alone time sometimes. I think this is why a lot of marriages probably just fall apart. There's lack of communication, lack of asking for the things they want, just making up assumptions. Like people don't want to hang out with you every day. They may like you, but they don't want to hang out with you all the time. People sometimes want their own space. Some people are introverts and need more space. Some people are extroverts, but they still might need some space. That's why the simple cure loneliness, not finding a partner, it's building up communities, building up more friends, building up a social life. Because once you have all these different communities to be a part of, for me, I got a gym community, you know, the improv community, you know, put on shows and plays, the gym community, you got people who are passionate about fitness that you can always meet and talk over there about fitness. I'm not very religious, not super religious, and I, I still go to churches sometimes to just meet people there. Uh, what other communities? Toastmasters. I joined a public speaking club because I want to get better at giving speeches. You know, so if you just think of a skill, maybe you want to learn dancing. I'm sure there's tons of dancing clubs or somewhere you could take a class and be a part of that club. And then it's an easier way to make new friends and have a social life. But it requires you taking action, doing some work. Do you guys have any other suggestions? Have you solved loneliness in other ways? I would love to know. And I would like to hear your feedback in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of today's topic of discussion and any other ways I can improve. And uh, thank you very much for watching. This has been The Common Sense Show. Have a great day.